Hello, welcome to this review of the Copper Can. I can't call it Louisiana Beer Reviews, I'd have to say Louisiana Craft Flavored Vodka Reviews. The Copper Can Craft Vodka Ginger Beer Lime Juice Moscow Mule. Okay, so I don't know much about the Copper Can. I've seen it around at Mathern's for a few months. Um, there's a website, doesn't say a whole lot. Uh, 10% alcohol, it says three shots per can. Bottled by 365 Brewing and Distilling Company, Stanford Drive, Albuquerque. So it's from Albuquerque, New Mexico. And you can look up their website, coppercan.com. Um, government warning. So six times distilled, house made, fresh squeezed vodka, ginger beer, organic limes. Refuel with the mule. Does it come in any other configuration? I only, I think it only comes in these cans, these 12 ounce cans. Um, born on July 18, 2019. Well, vodka, don't think freshness should matter, but it might affect the ginger and the lime and all of that. So, uh, we'll see what happens. Uh, there are two video reviews for this. I'll check them out. Alright, so it's a hazy, grayish, silver gray appearance. Sort of like the uh, Smirnoff Black Ice, I think they call that. I haven't tried that one yet. Um, I can see a lot of suspended sediment in there. A lot of condensation. I had it in the freezer, 10% alcohol. So it's got the lime chunks floating around. It's bubbly. Um, okay, it's October 2019, and we've been getting hot, humid weather. Highs in the mid 90s, lows at night around 75. So that's what we're dealing with hot, humid weather. It's fall on the calendar. It is not fall in reality. It's summer, midsummer. <sighs> smells like lime juice, ginger. Uh, they're saying on the website they use real lime. It's not some lime flavor. It looks pretty nice. I've uh, never had anything. I've never had a Moscow Mule mixed drink before. It smells nice. Let's go with the taste. It's a good taste. It's uh, ginger and lime. Mm. Is it a vodka they buy and use? They're saying six times distilled house made. So I'm assuming they make it there. Organic lime, all right. I don't see a certified organic designation on this though. Um, so they're they're saying it's organic, but they may have not sought out a certification. It says gluten-free. Well, okay. A lot of these concoctions, whether they are malt-based or vodka-based, are gluten-free or at least gluten heavily gluten-reduced, which appeals to some people. A lot of bubbles. Huh. Interesting. So many bubbles. Carbonated. You can definitely pick up the carbonation, which is making me think... It's got to have a beer base, right? Wouldn't that be the case? That it has a vodka and a malt base. You know, they take the, the uh, beer and then they just kind of like quasi distill it down to like a vodka. It's hard to say. It does taste a little malty, like a very pale, odorless, colorless malt base. Hmm. These will run you about $3.99 a can. They had them on sale for $3.49. There's another competing brand, can't remember the name of it. I might try it if it goes on sale. Not, I don't really want to pay $3.99 for that. Medium mouthfeel, pretty crisp finish, like a beer. 
I think you could fool people to think it was a flavored beer, not a vodka. Flavor vodka. I would highly recommend this. Um, I don't know what the other vi video reviews are going to say, but um, I'll find out soon enough. I'll say it's a 94 out of 100. Hmm. 95 out of 100. 95 out of 100. There's no downside to it. And if you wanted to... He's grinding some metal over there. I don't know what they're doing. If you want to uh, check it out, I would recommend it. I think you'll be pleased with it. Just think of those flavors, ginger and lime, and you got it. And actually some pale, very light bread. I think I'm getting that as well. Add on. So, uh, les les bon temps relay. I'm going to end this review by saying, y'all come on down to southeastern Louisiana. I have an add-on lying up. This is the last of the, this is a lunch of meat on top of a cracker, buttery cracker, and this is the last of the Yamasa soy sauce. Thanks, Ken. That's it. It's all gone. I saw him out there grinding earlier, about 7.30, I knew it was going to make noise. So. Good little morning snack, 8.15 a.m. Thank you.